Yeah, yeah, what's up, y'all? What's up? We back with another video. How y'all doing today? Hey, I know what y'all thinking. This isn't in a scary game. Hey, your boy still got y'all. It's coming. I, I, I'm, I'm going. Oh, it's coming. Why did I say it again? But it's coming soon. It's coming this weekend. I got y'all. Your boy ain't forgot about y'all. It's still going to come. And also, if y'all want to see any other scary games outside of Roblox, just drop them down in the comment section. Let me know so your boy can play. And we both can experience that together without the baby oil. You know, no strings attached. You know what I'm saying? No. But how y'all doing? It's been over a week. Just as always, Real C's been driving news and everything. I am having a very bad day. I am in no more. So... You know, I just thought, why not bring back some old school concepts? Or well, really, I didn't. I didn't think about it. A couple of my subscribers had. They said it on one of my last videos that they wanted back concepts. So hey, if y'all, if if y'all got a problem with it, get on their head, jump them. All right, our first concept is from that boy Duck Cody, and he talks about the Navigator class. All right, they want unique ability, ability. Ab Unique abilities slash equipment. Innate sense of direction, north, east, south, west, or if you're from the south, you never eat soggy waffles. Release me! Outside of the Grand Line, unlockable maps of islands and able to equip log poses and viva cards as accessories that will show up at all times on the screen. Now, Mr. Cody, I like your idea of fun. I like it, it's very interesting, but I feel like it shouldn't be just, I feel like all oh, that shouldn't be dedicated just to one class. Just because for one, you never know what if the person who normally steering the ship is on another part of the ship or he not on at the time. Or what if somebody else who's not the boat driver, I forgot, I can't think of the name, my fault. Not the, not the deckhand, the, the steer, whatever it's called, y'all know what it's called. Who, if you, if, if, Hey, what if what if Jean Bay? I'm gonna just say that. What if Jean Bay not on? What if Jean Bay not steering the boat, my boy? So what you gonna do then? If he got access to all the directions and all the other things that help you when it comes to forms of traveling, what if he's not on at the time and somebody else has to take his place? So that means that we would be lacking all this critical information as far as travel, and especially when you on the seas, that we gonna need to get where we need to go fast or in a decent amount of time because you got sea beasts, you got Current, you got a whole bunch of other crazy stuff so it's a good idea but i feel like it shouldn't be instead of it just being dedicated to one class it should be whoever steers the boat they should have access to all this so it won't seem like it's unfair or we lacking in different contents or we lacking in abilities to have a sense of direction you know what i'm saying all right so this next concept is a concept that i get a lot or that i see going around a lot and so i'm just gonna go and bring it up and get my opinions on it but it is from the young laser and it's about having one arm it says allow the player to replace their limbs with something else like a hook or a stub or have one arm like shanks but this prohibits them from using anything else besides a one-handed weapon but it doesn't nerf you in any way besides weapon selection now I have no problems with people wanting to have, you know, one arms and actually I like that he added a hook or a stub because this actually is something different because you would still have, I mean, you would still have two arms, so why would he put, hey, I'm, I'm getting off topic, y'all know how I get, but I like the idea, I don't have a problem with people wanting to have one arm, but my, uh, my, my thing is when it comes to rail C's, how will it work because, you know, the game, it got, we got different, we got stances. We got weapon swap, parries, dodges. What if you need to use, what if you got a weapon in one hand and then you got to use the other hand to dodge or attack that's coming from the left side or, I don't know. I, I don't know how the mechanics are gonna work in the game. I don't know what I was gonna have. I don't know the depth of the mechanics or I don't know the depth of how they gonna do everything, but it's a cool idea. But if it doesn't prevent anybody or if it doesn't hold anybody back from fighting at their full potential or I mean, what, what 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 is the word i'm trying to look for yeah if it doesn't prohibit anybody or if it doesn't give them like a handicap anyway then it's fine but i just feel like it'd be kind of difficult to do multiple moves if you got one arm so that means every time you want to use something different you got to put your weapon away first and you can't use it with a different hand you know what i'm saying but i guess it still would be cool if you want that as an option me personally 
I wouldn't want that because I feel like it'd be something that prohibit me or um, I mean not prohibit me, but I just don't see the purpose of just wanna walk around with one arm like shanks. I mean uh maybe if you could put a hook or stuff that would be cool, but hey, I just say give the people what they want. If they wanna walk around like shanks and be shanks and real seeds, let them do it. But y'all just gotta make sure that the system that comes with it, if it is gonna happen, which I highly doubt. 99.99 repeating percent that it's not gonna happen but you gotta make sure that it's fair make sure it's balanced make sure that if you if you do want to go one on make sure that you're not gonna be in a handicap situation and make sure that you're not gonna feel underpowered when you're going against people with two two arms but it all comes back down to balance and if they is gonna do it can they balance it out right or not but um it's a decent idea me personally i wouldn't do it I know a lot of y'all probably will because y'all, you know, y'all, y'all won't pop it out of your mouth when it comes to shanks. Type shit. <laughs> Not just playing. But yeah, y'all love shanks. So, hey, get, get, get a shanks. Get, give the shanks glazers what they want, my boy. If they want to glaze his knob of shanks, hey, let them do it. Let them do it. Hey. All right, one of the last concepts is actually pretty good for what I skim read, but... It's from that boy. I don't know how to say his name, but it looks like even though it's two L's, I'm gonna call that boy Riz. The boy Riz says it's an event that occurs randomly, randomly once every week based off a of 5% player count of the game at that time, etc. 200k playing there are gonna be 200 servers running at this event. Credit to Victor. They usually appear in a big island like Sabaody or Acapelago, etc. The parade contains a horde of in-game enemies, pastavistas and admirals, and the main man themselves, the Celestial Dragons. Take off that fucking main man. Fuck these Celestial Dragons. <laughs> hey, well, I can't say that I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Marine. <laughs> Fuck them Celestial Dragons. All right. The goal is to capture slash carry. Well, not slash, but capture or cap. Sh shut up, Mac. <laughs> Capture carry celestial dragons as long as you can to earn money. The prize money increases gradually. By the time that you get the money you want, you can just flee the island and get the money. But be careful, there are going to be past the beasts of the marines and the horde of enemies and other in uh, in horde of enemies and other pirates who is trying to steal the hostage. Now, this is actually a good idea to uh, start off with just an event idea, but I feel like something that will make this better. If, if instead of it being where you have to hold a uh, celestial dragon hostage, which would be crazy because you gotta go through a lot just to get to a celestial dragon, what I feel like it should be, it, I feel like it should be a marine slash a revolutionary army event. What I mean by that, it could be just like in the anime. If y'all not caught up to One Piece, uh, cut this part off or just block it out, listen to some music or whatever. Uh, yeah, but it should be like the last few episodes of One Piece when the Revolutionary Army was attacking and the Marines and everybody had to defend from the Revolutionary Army. I feel like it should be like that and like the real players of the Rev Army and it could be bots as well and real players from the Marines and bots as well clashing on this one island and the Marines goal is, the whole goal is to evacuate and protect the Celestial Dragons until they get to a certain island and so the revolutionary army and pirates can work together to try to keep the what's the people called the celestial dragons i don't know i'm talking too fast my my brain is going all over the place but yeah making an event so where the revolutionary army and the pirates are attacking and they trying to capture celestial dragons and marines their whole purpose of it is to for one defend off the attack or they can actually stop the whole event or they can win the whole event before the pirates even raid the island or the revolutionary army raid the island even though it kind of be difficult to tell beforehand but yeah they'll be able to stop the attack or the pirates and the revolutionary army they get through and they get onto the island and then they kill the celestial dragons and for each celestial dragon that they kill and or capture and take away on their ship they get a certain amount of xp and for the marines however however many celestial dragons get captured or killed that ruins your reputation and it affects your reputation with the people around in different islands. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I told you, let me cook. But that would affect your reputation as a Marine. And so you would have to be on the double or on the triple or trying to do more missions to help out the community because you failed to protect, which was looked at as like the gods of One Piece. <laughs> Fuck them. But I feel like that'd be a good idea. And another good idea 
if the Marines are able to stop the attack before they even get onto landfall, however that would happen, I feel like that XP should be double. No, you don't like that? <laughs> All right, I'll be okay. <laughs> okay. I hope y'all enjoyed that yap concept. Yeah, that yap concept session. I almost said it wrong. I had to break it down. But yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed the yap concept session. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned because yeah, the next video is coming either. I'm going to let y'all know. I say this weekend. Oh, uh, I say this weekend. I'm going to say this weekend either going to be Saturday or Sunday, but it may come out Friday, but don't give your hopes up. Freaking Fears the Fathom 1. I'm actually glad Fears the Fathom was because Poppy Playtime looked like animatronics on crack. And your boy, I played Five Night Freddy's when it first came out and in my heart I almost gave out a few times when I was young. So I'm glad that y'all didn't pick that. And you would think I'd be more scared of Fears the Fathom because I actually had like a stalker experience when I was young. But hey, that's either, well, neither here or there. But hope y'all like the video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And your boy will see you next time. Bars. Bars. Speaking of bars, let me give you some bars while I'm selling these cars. Yeah.